welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a small Q&A for you guys. I asked on my Instagram um, just what you, some questions that you guys wanted to ask me for a video. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to answer these questions. We've got quite a few um, fun questions for me to answer, and I'm really excited about it. So let's just get on into it. Okay, so the first question is, is life as a high schooler, YouTuber, and dancer hard? Um, yes and no. I, it just depends, honestly, because, like, I have to just make sure that I have time to film videos, edit videos, and then between my dance classes. Um, school doesn't really get in the way, like, being a high schooler um, doesn't get in the way too much for me, but that's just because I am able to get done most of my homework and schoolwork pretty quickly, and even in during school hours, I usually get my work done. Um, just because I have like free time and stuff in some of my classes and I just go ahead and get all my work done as much as I possibly can and quicker I guess um, so that's what I usually do but it might be harder for some other high school youtubers and stuff too um, it just depends honestly sometimes there has been times where I could not upload because it just got everything kind of got crazy but I also too depending on certain things I like to incorporate incorporate um, dance into my videos like I had some fun videos planned for competitions and things like that to incorporate my YouTube channel and my dance life together or I incorporate my school life and my YouTube life together like my weekend like my my weekend life my like day in life videos or my like wearing doing this for a week videos those ones are really easy because I'm filming them during the school day and then I can edit at night or when I get home and it makes it pretty easy, I guess. I don't really know. I, I hope that answered your question. Um, the next question is, what's your favorite clothing brands? Um, I normally and have been shopping at Brandy Melville and like PacSun and Urban Outfitters. Those ones are like my top three probably. Those are where I usually shop. I also really do like Dolls Kill Us, some really fun, cool, like funky different things. Um, but that's not, you know, I don't really, I have some things from there. Which I do have a fun haul that I should be doing a Dolls Kill haul coming up soon. Hopefully, um, that's the plan, but we'll see about that. <laughs> but yeah, I would say those are my top three brands. Um, the next question is, how's online school? Online school has been pretty good. We, it's, I mean, I don't have too much crazy stuff to do. And I do even sometimes have a break in the middle of the week. Like, I don't have to do anything. Um, because I still have anything planned to do that day. Which is really nice. Um, dance classes. I haven't started any dance classes online yet. But, like, so far, like, the things that they're ha our, my dance teachers are having us do are pretty easy. Um, I'm pretty interested to see how the Zoom class goes later on this week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But pretty excited about that. Can you speak other languages? Um, I'm currently taking a Spanish class. I don't know a lot. I'm not even going to try to speak Spanish right now to you because I don't want to get it wrong and get yelled at for getting it wrong. But I am working on it. Okay? I'm working on speaking Spanish. Anyway, moving on. Um, how do you hold yourself accountable for your posting schedule? Um, so, considering I've been switching up my posting schedule quite a bit, I decided to... There was one moment where I was like, hmm, I'm going to add Fridays in to my posting schedule and then because of quarantine, I added Mondays as well, so before the next month, or even longer, I'm going to be posting Mondays, Wednesdays, and thir Fridays. It will always be 6pm, um, but I do recommend that you like put um, my post like notifications on just in case, but normally it will always be 6pm on those three days, always Wednesday, so when the quarantine is over and I decide to revert back to my original because I get busy or something. Um, it will always be Wednesdays at 6 p.m. That has always been the deal. It always will be unless I make a big change where I need to do it a different day. But Wednesdays is my go-to. So that's just honestly it. But I will... So uh, I wasn't even really answering the question. But um, what I would say is I try to stay on my posting schedule very strictly. It's really... It's kind of harder depending on how much content I have planned and how I'm going to be able to produce the content um, and just like managing like my homeschool work and what things I need to get done around the house and things like that because I need to make sure that I have time to film and time to edit and time to do everything but considering I'm going to be at home all the time it, it's being pretty easy currently but with when we were in school it was honestly pretty easy too because I only had one video so I'd film on the weekends and then I'd edit 
film and edit all on the weekend and then be ready to post for each week. Like I probably could post two videos a week during school because I was able to like film during the weekend. Um, I hope that answers your question. I'm very sorry if that didn't. Are you a morning person or a night person? Um, usually I'm a morning person. I'm honestly always a morning person. But recently I've been like more of a night owl. Like I've been kind of up later than I usually do, which is very strange for me. And I just couldn't get myself to fall asleep for some reason. I don't know why. But I've been, I, yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm usually always a morning person. I still am because I like wake up early. And I just like wake up and I get going pretty early, but I don't know. I hope that answers that question. I would probably say morning person. What is your favorite app in your phone? Um, recently, I've been on Snapchat and TikTok a lot more, um, which you know is kind of sad because I want to like make I want to grow on Instagram as well, which I should probably pay more attention to my Instagram rather than pay more attention to my Snapchat. Which my Snapchat literally I don't put out to my public to the public to my subscribers and stuff because it's like more of a personal thing for my friends and stuff rather than my subscribers um if i get bigger or something and i want to give it out to like my subscribers i will but like usually it's mostly just for my friends currently but my tiktok is free range for everybody so go follow my go follow my tiktok um i've been on there a lot just scrolling and and endlessly I've been scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and I don't know how to stop, but like we're, it's great, it's fine. Um, the next question is, where are you in the world? I'm in the United States, I live in Utah. Um, that, that, that answers that question. Um, are you LGBTQ? No, I am not, I am straight. I answered this in my assumptions video. Um, I'm straight, I, I support the LGBTQ community. If you want more on that, you can watch my assumptions video. Yeah. How are you so perfect? That question was asked by a fan account for me. That was honestly the craziest thing when I found out that I had a fan account. Like, I have literally the most minimal amount of subscribers ever, but someone made a fan account for me and that honestly just warmed my heart so much. It was so sweet. And honestly, I wouldn't say I'm perfect. I'm really not. I have flaws. We all have flaws. I, I have a lot of flaws. But we're not going to point that out because that's sad and that's not fun. But um, I just want to, you know, say thank you to whoever made that fan account. And, you know, you're, I appreciate you so much. So, um, how's the quarantine life? Also, I love you. I love you. You know what? I love you so much and I miss you. And I can't wait for school to start back up again because I miss just seeing you and all my friends. But uh, quarantine life is good. I like being able to make more content and, like, come up with more content and... I've just been like on, you know, trying to be on that content grind lately because I want to make videos and if y'all are going to be stuck at home bored, like I might as well just make content for you guys, right? So that's honestly been the plan is just to make as much content as possible and it's working out pretty well. So we're, I'll take it. Have you been out of the country? Have you ever been out of the country? Yes. I've been to Mexico. Twice. It was very fun. That's about it on that, honestly. Mexico was, I was such a child. I was a baby back then. Well, I wasn't a baby, baby, but I was little. I was like 10 or something. But it was, it was a crazy time. That's all I gotta say. We were just, I was just such a young child with cornrows and I just don't even know how to feel about it. Anyway, that is all the questions I have for today, which, you know, is a pretty small Q&A, but I really liked some of the questions. They were all super cute. Super nice. Loved answering them for you guys. I hope you guys like this video. Um, another thing I want you guys to do for me is go and DM me or comment down below some videos you guys would like to see. I, As I said, I am spitting out content like crazy, which is my favorite thing. And I'd love to just make content that you guys are actually really interested in watching. So please just comment down below. Anyways, so please do that for me. I'd love to just, you know, do that and have some interaction with you guys and just tell me what you guys want. I'm really prepared to like spit out all the content you guys want so that'd be great um but i hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and you know go subscribe to this channel if you haven't already which would be so strange but subscribe to this channel subscribe to my vlog channel um subscribe to just all my both my channels go follow me on instagram if you haven't already because if we do more q a's and things like that and just polls about everything 
I'd love for you guys to be involved in that because it's a very, you know, big thing when it comes to my channel is where I do, is where I find out what you guys want is usually on my Instagram unless you guys commented on my video, but Instagram is the way to be, so go follow me on, on that, on there, on there. Follow me on Twitter too because I've been tweeting a lot and I don't know why, but I've been loving Twitter and I love tweeting about random things. Like I love to just blow up one day and the reason I blew up was because of one of my tweets. Like that would be funny. I'd love to tell my kids that. Be like, I blew up. You want to know how I got famous? My tweet. Anyways, I hope you guys like that. Make sure you guys follow my social medias. You know, the usual. Last but not least, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Or just whenever you're watching this. Bye.